Hey, what's up guys? So Leon from Team Disciples. So this weekend I went up to York to play in the UK Open 3. This was an 8 round regional with 188 players. My matchups during the day were 2 Burn and Abyss, 2 Strike Striker, 1 Thunder Dragon, 1 Crusadia and 1 Spiral. I ended the day with a record of X2, uh, losing to two of the previous national cha UK national champions, playing Burn and Abyss and Autogeist. Um, I finished ninth after Swiss. Uh, just missing out on the top 8 but making it in the top 16. And then the next day playing in the LDS Stage 2, which was a 43 player tournament with 6 rounds of Swiss and then breaking off to a top 8 cut. Uh, so during that day I played against 1 Danger Dark World FTK, 1 Rongominia deck, one, 2 Autogeist, 1 Thunder Dragon and 1 50 card Invoked. I lost to one of the Autogeist. And lost to Thunder Dragons. Um, I finished 8th in Swiss this time. Just making it into the uh, top 8 cut. And then losing to the same Thunder Dragon player. In the top 8 playoffs. Um, who then went on to win the whole thing. So yeah overall very happy with the weekend. And of course I did it with my deck. Invoked. So let's just get into the list. Of course to start things off we've got 3 Alistair the Invoker. This is the 1 card engine for the deck. And the main monster that you want to see in your hand to ensure that you're making the most optimal plays. As playing without him sometimes can be very awkward. He's also the main monster that people know about the deck. So he has a massive target on his back. Which can work into your advantage at times when you have the relevant extenders in your hand. So you can always throw him out first and know that you'll probably bait something out. In order to search him out we have the free magical meltdown. Uh, the secondary effect of this card is even more important now since we play a ton of powerful fusion spells. And having this on the field prevents them from being negated. So it's effectively like your auto guys protocol for the deck. Where if your opponent tries to negate your fusion spells, they will still resolve. And of course, to search them out, you've got the two terraformings, bringing your total Alistair count up to 8 for the deck. And next for the Mech Knights, we have 3 Purple Nightfall. He's the best Mech Knight, uh, since he has the best stats. And you could banish the Mech Knight to... Search out another one other than himself, and then they return in your standby phase to continue your playing pressure. Next, yeah, so we've got two blue sky. When he summons himself, he searches out another mech knight, so he's effectively two monsters for one card, which is really important for contributing to your link plays. And then uh, one indigo eclipse. Um, his move effect allows you to summon another mech knight in his place in the position that he was in when it comes to spamming the board. And he's also very relevant. His move effect's relevant for um, deep, when you summon Deco Talker to boost it up as well. And then for the hand traps, you have Free Ash Blossom. Uh, that's the best hand trap hits uh, every matchup pretty much. Uh, free Impermanence, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, just good around all around for a majority of matchups and relevant for the FDK since it doesn't get stuck by Azathoth. And then two Jordan Lockbird. Um, also for the FTK, but also good against Trickstar and Sky Striker, the, the heavy search decks. And just being able to stun them and not allow them to set up for a turn and have a very weak board just gives you the chance to push on your turn and it makes it easier to OTK. And for fusion spells, you play free invocation. This is the card that they're trying to stop you from getting to with your Alistair. So if you've hard drawn it, it just makes your Alistair summon more resilient. Uh, you also want to play... You also always want to have a copy in deck to be able to search out with your Alistair link when it comes to making your fusion spam plays. And also we play Pot of Desires, so you never want to banish all copies of this. Uh, and the next fusion spell, Free Instant Fusion, still very important for the deck. Like I said before, Starter, Extender and Removal. Uh, being able to summon a monster to link with your Alistair to make the Alistair link to get your play started. Um, also if they've stopped your Alistair effect, being able to activate this and trigger a fusion summon to be able to search the invocation with the Alistair link is really important. And also being able to remove uh, the Sky Striker monsters or Beatrice without triggering them or getting rid of Thunder Dragon Colossus with Thousand Eyes Restrict. Super important. And then the final fusion spell, a new addition, Free Brilliant Fusion. This is effectively replaced Engage in the deck and it's so much better. Uh, similar to Engage, it's a one card Alistair Link because um, you send the targets Garnet and Trick Clown to the grave. So we end up with Seraphonite and Trick Clown on field, and that alone will make the Alistair Link. But on top of that, if you have Brilliant Fusion along with your Alistair, 
then you get two normal summons. So that's effectively four monsters. So this one card turns into a Borosaur Dragon because four monsters equals Borosaur Dragon. But on top of that, you're summoning Alistair twice. So that means you're getting two invocation searches. So that's also two fusions. So that's a Boral Sword plus two fusions, and you've effectively already got your Light Target and your Earth Target. So this card alone plus Alistar is Boral Sword, Mechaba, Magellanica, which is 11,500 damage. So yeah, definitely game. So every time I drew this card, it was more or less game. So a brilliant addition to the deck. I have to shout out Amar uh, with his 50 card in vault, uh, pointing this out to me, and it's just been fantastic ever since. So. And finally for the final spills, we have two Desires. For consistency, um, it's extremely important that you see your Alistar. Like I said, our Virgil players are very awkward. If your hands are already decent, you could play the relevant cards like Brilliant Fusion or Alistar to get your invocation before playing this so you don't banish anything important. And if you don't have those cards, then it doesn't really matter what you banish because you probably wouldn't have been making too many great plays without it anyway. Uh, sometimes you have Alistar and you don't have the extenders like Mech Knights or Brilliant Fusion, so you just really want to see these cards. So, the size is important for that. Two twin twisters um, for back row decks like all guys and Sky Striker. Uh, you definitely want to see this card to get rid of the back row because um, then you could just pretty much kill them after that. Uh, two Call by the Grave to protect yourself from hand traps, um, especially Drawing Lock Bird, which has seen started to increase in play because of the FTKs. And then finally, the one Hornet Drones because even though we don't play Engage, this card is still too good not to play. It's effectively a free monster or one card Alistair Link. So. And that's the main deck, 40 cards. Okay, so now for the extra deck. We've got Tokers, of course. Okay, for Link one, we've got Kagari. Because uh, he cut the, the engages, I decided to cut the Hayate. Because now we've got one drums, we'll see it a lot less. So I thought it was very inefficient to have too many targets for it. And plus Kagari on its own is, with the drones, is a, either a free monster or the one card Link 2. So that's all you really need. Uh, you got the Nightmare Cerberus and Nightmare Phoenix for utility, just when it when they come up really. Uh, Alistair Invoker of Madness, this is your main link too. Uh, when you summon it, you're able to just keep on fusion summoning because every time you fusion summon, you can discard a card from your hand to add another invocation. Uh, so you typically summon this, do a couple fusion summons, link it away into a Burrow Sword or a Deco Talker, and then just fusion summon again and go for game. So very important. And then you've got your decoy talker, uh, 3300 when it's pointing to two monsters, and into a clear board, just typically game. Uh, you've got your Nightmare Unicorn for utility, this removal, and your Boros or Dragon, which is your main OTK monster, and your tip the typical go to guy. Very easy to summon in the deck. Then we've got and now for fusions, we've got two Mecha Bar, your go to in the grind game, being able to negate monster spells or traps. You've got your one Magellanica. Um, Brilliant few when you activate Brilliant Fusion, it gives you an Earth target. And if you only have one Alistar, then you'd want to uh, add the Alistar back to your hand to be able to normal summon it again. And so, this is the most efficient uh, fusion to make. And also, it's free case, so it just contributes to the OTKs anyway. Uh, one Perga Trio uh, attacks all the opponent's monsters and does piercing damage, gets really big, lots of damage. Uh, one Revolt Raijin, Instant Fusion Target, uh, the Book of Moon Effect for Disruption, yeah, this is a great card. One Kaliga, uh, before we used to play this just to be able to banish the Ray from Sky Strikers, but now it's become very relevant going first against Thunder Dragons, uh, Danger FTK, or all the combo decks, and like BA and stuff. It basically says that you're, both players can only activate one monster effect per turn, and that's regardless of whether it gets negated or not. So. Uh, having this on the field is effectively an inspect border in the in your extra deck. So after that one effect, they can't activate anymore. It's very crippling for them. And being able to, the main thing is just trying to protect it because it's got little stats. But if you're able to, then that should be their turnover. <coughs> one Gem Knight Seraphonite for the Brilliant Fusion. Um, gives you an extra normal summon. Amazing card. And then finally the one Thousand Knights Restrict, the removal and instant fusion target. So, yeah. And then for side, cool. We play two Pancratops. Uh, great card going against Autogeist, against uh, Trick Stars. Also put it in against decks that 
you feel it might side floodgates against you, but you're not too sure, so you don't really want to put twin twisters in against. So just all around amazing card. Uh, one Kamongus, uh, just another fifteenth card in the side, just another option against Sky Striker and against Thunder Dragons. And then one Jordan Lockbird, the third. Um, this goes in against the FTK, against the Trick Stars and Sky Striker. Um, didn't want a main free because it's not good against every single deck, but definitely did the third on the side for the relevant matchups. And then I played one Mech Knight Red Moon. Uh, never really used this guy too much. The theory was that I would use it along with Book of Eclipse. To, so against Thunder Dragons, when I flipped my monsters, the opponent's monsters face down, I have a problem clearing them. And I would summon that to be able to pop them along with um, using Nightmare Phoenix and that, no, Nightmare Cerberus and Nightmare Unicorn to clear the board and then still push for game. But someone pointed out that this can only pop face up cards, so it's going to get cut after this, so I probably won't play that anymore. And then Book of Eclipse, um, I don't know if I'm going to continue playing that at free. Uh, I played this over Mind Control because I needed a card that was also good going first to stop me from getting OTK'd from all the OT go second decks um, but I typically only sided in two going first anyway so I might either cut it to two or just cut it for uh, mind control or something especially since I have such a hard time removing the Thunder Dragons after I flip them face down then we've got the third Twin Twister for the back row decks we've got the three Solemn Strike for when I'm made to go first and also comboed with Kaliga um, it's just a uh, they try to use their one monster effect, you strike it and then they end the, pretty much end their turn. So yeah, uh, just protect your board. And then free red reboot for the trap decks. Uh, very important, very very necessary against auto guys because that's quite hard without it to be honest. Won me pretty much all the auto guys matchups I won mainly because of that card. So. so I was watching back my round 7 feature match and I found it quite funny. The, commentators and the overall impressions of the deck saying that the best that this deck can do going first is just end on a mecha bar it's quite a shame that i open up with such an awkward hand i couldn't really display what the deck can do so i thought i'd show a quick going first combo with the deck right now just with these two cards so start off by playing magical meltdown which searches out your alistair and then you activate your brilliant fusion now um just so you can try and bait out ash because once again magical meltdown is on the field so even if they ash it it will still resolve so you send your two targets to summon Seraphonite and then this will trigger your Trick Clown to Special Summon, paying a thousand. And now you get your additional normal summon, so your additional normal summon, your Alistar, and search out your invocation. And then we can link away the Seraphonite and the Alistar for the Madness Invoker, and then link away these two for your Decor Talker. And then we activate our invocation, banishing the Alistar and the Trick Clown. So summon out your Mecha Bar. And then shuffle the invocation from the grave back into your deck to add Alistar back to your hand. And now you've got your regular normal summon for the turn. So you'll normal summon him again and search back out your invocation. And then activate that to banish the Alistar and the Madness Invoker. To summon the inspect border, Caligo. Uh, so now you have one negate, and they can only activate one monster effect. So effectively, if you have a monster in hand and you negate that one monster effect, that's all that monster effect's done for the turn. Unfortunately, that's, this board is extremely weak to Dino Wrestler Pancratops because they could just special summon it, attack over the Caligo, and then tribute to pop the Mecha Bar. But gain, I don't feel like any decks are really main decking that card. And when game three, if you want, if you're side or game two, if you're siding, you have typically side in your strikes and your traps to protect this board even more. So yeah, there you go. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I just want to give a quick shout out to my team, the disciples, especially Sam, who was also there on Saturday representing. Uh, shout out to the Brotherhood and all the players. Shout out to Michael for hooking us up with the hoodies. Uh, shout out to Jamie for designing this fantastic map. Love playing on this. Uh, shout out to Team Sneak Attack also who was there, who was hanging out with. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you at the next event. Take care.